My name is Margot Wallström. I'm a former Minister of Foreign Affairs of Sweden and uh, right now I'm chairing the Olof Palme International Centre. I'm Kolbasi Awosu and I'm the UK Preventing Sex Surveillance Initiative champion and also I work for an organisation called Freedom from Torture in the UK. I'm Sofia Kornieva, I'm a human rights lawyer from Ukraine. I'm Sadia Issa Ismail, I'm from Sudan. I'm a Secretary General for Association of Persons with Disability. Hello, I'm Mosdalin Francois. I'm a global disability advocate. I'm working in Haiti. My name is Kathleen Kienest. I direct the Women, Peace and Security portfolio at the U.S. Institute of Peace. The missing piece is a euphemism, if you will, of trying to describe one of the most horrific and criminal acts in war and that is conflict-related sexual violence. USIP and other partners have for over a decade bring together scholars, policy makers, practitioners, and survivors of conflict-related sexual violence to help understand what the impact is and what we can do to prevent the scourge of war. I was the first um, UN Special Representative on conflict-related sexual violence, uh, so I started in 2010. This was really setting up an agenda for the whole issue globally and making sure that we put it on the agenda for the Security Council and to have it stay there over the years. And of course now we have seen a lot happening, but uh, it's really about the implementation. And uh, a legislation is only as good as its implementation. Um, we see in, in many of, the, of today's co wars and conflicts, uh, women are still not at the negotiating table. Uh, they are still not uh, visible uh, and their voices are not being heard about how wars and conflict, uh, conflicts uh, eff affect them. And this problem of sexual violence is, is still, uh, unfortunately, uh, a prominent one. I think for me, survivors have inside and expertise that can inform us to have a better policies and have a better support system that meet the need. You know, that's why it's really important that you know, survivors are part of, integral part of our solution finding. Since the whole scale invasion in 2022, uh, we joined the coalition, 5AM coalition. It's the coalition of human rights organizations in Ukraine uh, who are documenting the war crimes and also are representing the survivors uh, in the national and international courts. The types of conflict-related sexual violence uh, which we were working on uh, is the survivors of rape and also uh, the survivors who were forced uh, to see uh, how their family members uh, were raped or sexually abused by the perpetrators. I am living with a disability since I was born and being disabled in a country like Haiti, I faced different physical and social barriers. The fact that this issue is being openly discussed and addressed shows progress and a growing recognition of the unique challenges faced by women and girls with disabilities affected by conflict-related sexual violence. This increased awareness can lead to more attention, resources and support being directed towards finding uh, more adaptive solutions. I want to see that, you know, moving forward, that when we are organizing important conversations such as, you know, this symposium, survivors are expert, you know, we, they need to be contributing to those important discussions. And that's my, my hope that we set a standard and how we're going to follow that with that standard, you know, moving forward. I hope that uh, here uh, that uh, it is going to be a very high voice for different women here who are attending this symposium to tell that the situation in Sudan is bad, we, to show the, that all the world that we have to stand and to unify it and to, to stand up and to try that Sudan for peace. And we hope that we reach peace soon because we want to go back to our country. 
Uh, you know, I think the people gives me really hope because when I'm talking and communicating with the colleagues from around the world and I see uh, the people who are working uh, with these issues every day behind their organizations, it really gives me hope that uh, we together we will build the system and we will find the ways and solutions to uh, help the survivors.